Hey everybody, it's Jerry and Mary and welcome to the Mary and Jerry podcast where we talk about, I don't know, things, (laughs) life, love, faith, family, bacon, and everything in between. And it's, there's no topic that's off limits. And just so you know, this is not like quote, reality TV or WWE wrestling. When we say unscripted- We mean unscripted. Totally unscripted. So Jerry, what are we going to talk about this week? Okay. So this week's topic. (laughs) Okay. So we're going to talk about the fine art of domestic engineering negotiation. What does that mean? That means home decorating. Oh, you mean us DIY projects. Oh, no, no. I don't do DIY projects with you. It's a rule. We just, we're doing it right now. It's against my religion. No, we're not doing DIY, sweetheart. We're doing it ourselves. No, no, no. That's like cleaning and decluttering that we're well, that's doing. That's what we're doing. That's not DIY. DIY is like creating something Well, we're from not scratch. like smashing drywall or laying shiplap. What exactly is shiplap? Shiplap is wood that goes on the wall and it goes, it goes uh I just like saying shiplap. I know you do because it's really close to a curse word and it's the closest you can get on well, this we podcast. We can't do that because we're a family program. Anyways. That's what right. precipitated this conversation, Jerry? Well, we were talking about, so we've been talking about like, uh, you know, interesting topics. And one of them is- Interesting? Yes. How do you, how do, how do people as a couple decide how they're going to do um, home projects, right? Because it can be a very contentious topic. No? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, it's it's sometimes like arms control negotiation. It's always right? like arms like, control like when, negotiation. Like when, when my honey lamb comes to me and says, sweetheart, warning sign one, <laughs> we need to talk, warning sign two, I think we need to refresh, fill in the blank room here. This, of course, immediately sets off alarm bells because it's like, <laughs> oh, oh God, oh God, we're all going to die. Because you hate the word refresh. You're like, that just means you want to spend money. Yes. And you're a very frugal man. And so, you know, what precipitated over the past year, Yes, we have, well, no, since the new year. Since the new year, for okay. the last year. Well, no, it's only nine months. But anyways, we have been since making- Since the beginning of the chronological con- <laughs> year 2023, there, is that precisely? We have been making a, cr- a concerted effort yes. to go through every single room in our home. Oh, yeah. And to, like, our, our promise to one another was to get rid of at least one third of what was in the room, to donate it- give it away, sell it, whatever. And then or, we were going to what? And then we were going to create a space that works for us in this season of life. Using? We we're going to recycle. Reduce. Reuse. Reuse. Recycle. Recycle. Stuff <laughs> we said in that the already. House. So we weren't going to, we were going to buy as little as possible because we have some financial goals that we'd like to Particularly achieve. Particularly in the furniture department. Correct. And this and doesn't count we, IKEA bookcases. No. They're always <laughs> they're always off the table for negotiations because you just because have you to have them. You always have to have them. <laughs> you have to have them. Okay. So we started upstairs and now we've gone through, we've created you an office. We have it's so we glorious. are our home is a Cape Cod. So it's got the vaulted roofs and it's about a thousand. It's not vaulted. It has the little tiny ceiling roofs that you can hit your head on. Okay, whatever. It's got 1,100 square feet of livable space, including the garage. And so it's a very small home. The garage is not livable, to be clear. The garage, not at the current the garage moment. is like a death trap, jungle gym, <laughs> obstacle course. It's the last thing we have to do. And we're not doing it until it is like really cold outside because we're going to be sweating when we empty that garage. Now, the, the, the thing is, is that, okay, so when we first got married, we had, we moved three times in the first year we got married. That's right. And in the first 12 years we, mar- we, marry, we were married, we moved, I think, a total of nine times. So we were constantly in like a PCS sort of move. We moved a lot. We moved a lot. So we when we moved- We did not moved, accumulate stuff. We did not accumulate a lot because you just had to move it. That's and right. And so then we, we settled here in Northern Virginia. We bought this house- Back in the late 20th century. 25 years ago. And we have not moved since. <laughs> Lordy, I don't even. So, can you imagine having to move again? I would just say, I just throw a match in <laughs> and start over. No. Like, but the point is, we know we're going to be here. You know, our plan until is we're to dead. Be here. No, You're going to uh, carry me out feet first, just like you did my daddy from his house. Uh, your daddy, we did not carry out feet well, first. Well, technically, he, no, he was the in the hospital, but they lived in their house for 50, 50 years. years. Yes. Okay. In Collinsville, Oklahoma. Um, Salute. Oh, my Lord. Help me, Jesus, please focus. Okay. Ready? 50 years. Okay. So they were there for 50 years. My parents were in their home that I was raised in for like 32, no, 
36. 33 years. So 33 years. Yeah. Before they moved to a smaller home and then my dad passed away three years later. So I don't think they're, you're, the, the home they moved to in Damascus is not smaller than the one. Yes, it is. You think it's so? smaller. Yes. Really? Yeah. Doesn't seem smaller. Oh, wait, there's not eight kids in it. Very true. That makes so, a difference. <laughs> makes a right? difference. Hmm. Um, and so anyways, we we wanted to to kind of just get control refresh. of the clutter and refresh. All right. So we have an event in this home on November 10th. So we are working toward this goal. And it's no, a hard it's not and the fast Marine goal. Corps ball for no, any of my jarhead listeners. Happy Marine Corps. Yay. Yeah, team. Yeah. Anyways, so <laughs> we have to be ready for this, this right. situation. So um I said to Jerry the other day, oh no, last month, two months ago, I said, okay, well, this is coming. So why don't we paint the kitchen? Oh Lordy. And Jerry <laughs> Looked like he was going to cry. It looked like I had told him that we were going to invest in a turkey bacon company. So I said, okay, here's my thoughts of (laughs) of, of painting the kitchen. It's kind of like in the Star Wars trench run when you're going down in the trench run. You're like, I'm going in, red five. And you're going in, you're down the trench run. You're like, you can't go up, you can't go down, you can't go sideways. You're just in the trench because you have to see it through. And all of a sudden, Darth Vader (laughs) swoops in and he's like... And disaster struck. That's what painting the kitchen would be like before the holidays. Let's be very clear. <laughs> See, I don't undertake any big project after the 1st of October. Nope. Nope. It's okay. against my religion. But it's not the 1st of October. Yeah. By the time this <laughs> podcast comes out, it, it will, will be. be. Okay. So Jerry so ixnade no. my idea. I ixnade the ain't pay in the kitchen A <laughs> because it is the holiday A. <laughs> Anyways. So I said, fine, then if we're not going to paint, then we need to deep clean this kitchen and we need to refresh some things in this kitchen, like the curtains. Right. And we need to- Now, to to be fair, the kitchen got a little bit of a refresh because we got different pieces in it this year because we got some pieces from my sister- Well, because your sister passed away. my parents and my grandparents. Right. So we got some very lovely restored- antique right. things right like my ice box which is a very cool liquor from cabinet. 1910 just say it okay <laughs> so refresh cut okay stay focused stay focused jerry don yes padawan refreshing we're refreshing the house yes so in this process we have to negotiate well okay so here's my question why can't you be one of those guys mm-hmm. that i know many of mm-hmm who simply say to their wives, you know, this is your home. Right. This is where you are 90% of your day. Right. This is where our children are for those that have children right. still at home. Uh-huh. You do whatever you need to do to make it work for you. Why can't, why can't you be that guy? See, that's work. That's not decorate. See, so that- but, but I would, my home yes. is where I feel I want to feel at peace. I want to feel like it's a warm hug that you walk into. Okay. I want okay. to have, you know, like our family's history is, is on the walls. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I want it to be a place Other of than welcome. my office. When have I ever denied you your overall, overall vision? Oh, you, oh over are all you vision. No, no. Overall vision. Right? Like always. No, 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 no. I have, I have had a, so I have had some, uh, let's just say, challenges to your planned budget for said revisions. Well, that's always, but, but yeah. not the like. Okay, so let's take like the room we're in now. So this is fall decorations up. Decorations are up. All my and little it pumpkins. Was, and, and we and we, I scaled back by we half. We scaled back, although there is a pumpkin on every stinking shelf. There is not a pumpkin on every stinking shelf. You are incorrect, sir. Oh wait, there's one. Okay. Oh, nope. Two. Okay. Two. You are incorrect, sir. Anyway. So yes, we, okay. So here's how this generally goes. Okay. So my honey lamb gets this brilliant idea to refresh. Okay. She comes to me with her her first plan. Like a few years ago, she's like, honey, let's paint the bathroom orange. Now I it's said- It's a happy color. It was traffic cone orange. <laughs> I said, like, honey, I, I am not to- wearing a hard hat while I'm in the bathroom doing my business. <laughs> so that is an ixnay on the orange A. I said, no. I had this great shower curtain. It was so fun, so playful. And Jerry's like- And then like- she wanted to paint the other bathroom, Tweety Bird Yellow. Yep. And I said, no. no. So- now, once we get past the now extremes, the bathroom is gray and the other one is blue. Really exciting. Whatever. But I don't have to wear a hard hat to do my business. 
<laughs> Should I stand by the door with the flags? And exactly. Go, go, go. Exactly. Yield, stop. <laughs> Yield, stop. Anyway. So then we get down to the serious business of negotiating, right? So for the kitchen, we like it. We have to deep clean everything. We, right. we decluttered a bunch of yeah, stuff. I'm, I'm on a deep dive of like, how do you get, you know, like clean your walls? Because when you make, we don't have the best ventilation. No. This house was made in 1969 and it hasn't had a lot of So updates, you've got to so keep, you gotta you've got to keep clean, clean. And, and you just, you end up deep cleaning because it. Because if you don't, your air least filter twice a year. judges you. Yes. You ever had one of those air filters that it gets red when the air is really <laughs> dirty? So I'm cooking bacon, all of a sudden it goes red and it's judging me. <laughs> it goes on me. turbo fan. <laughs> turbo fan. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> anyway. So then we get to the negotiation. So my honey lamb says, okay, we're going to clean the kitchen and then we're going to put up curtains. Deep clean. We're going to get new curtains. Now... We must negotiate curtains. So what my honey lamb does is she'll go on to Wayfair. Why do we whatever. have to negotiate curtains? It's a process. No, no, but why? You come to me and I ask come my to you opinion. and I say, I would like to get these curtains. And the, this is what you say every single time. Okay. Really? That's what you chose? Every single time. I should have a tattooed on my forehead. This is what Jerry's going to say. Really? That's what you chose? No, no, but see, like, now you you've got any, a clever like, ploy. Le- that is not a clever ploy. No, it's a clever ploy. You will, you will bring me three choices that you have. Now I do. You bring me three choices. One of them is so like not that I just go, no. And then I, they have two. And I'll go and I'll say, well, you know, either one of these is okay. He always picks the wrong one. And then I might pick one and you're like, well, I like the other one. And I'm like, well, why did you even ask? And she's like, well, I just wanted you to feel like you're included. Because you refuse, you have refused for 35 years of marriage to ever allow me, unless you were deployed in the middle of the Mediterranean, mm. to make a decor decision in this home where I haven't said to you, what do you think of this? Okay, so this is like... When you have teenagers and they're and playing video games and their little brother is bothering like- them. So they'll hand him a controller that's not actually plugged in. And the little <laughs> brother will just sit there and, and work the controller and think that he's playing the video game. And then the big kid will be like, dude, you're doing really well. Great. But he knows that the, that's how you do decorate. You, you, you give me a controller, but it's not really hooked up. So you'll say, you, you will pick the, you will know which one you want, but you will give me the illusion that I am involved in the decision making process. That is so incorrect. When we picked out our furniture, Furniture is different. No, you no. Sat no, furniture on is different. Every sofa. That's correct. Within a 20 mile radius of it our home. It has to have a butt check. <laughs> See, that's different than like curtains and paint and on all that. No, no. See, furniture is a whole different category, particularly oh if I'm gosh. sitting on it. Oh, yeah, you bet. That's getting a test ride. I test ride furniture way more than I do cars. Well, we don't buy a car, but every like 15 years. Right, but I spend years. a lot more time parking my butt on the furniture than I do in the car. Yes, very true. Very so, true. So, yes. But, but so now, you know, we have, we have. But we came to agreement f- in a fairly civil manner. Well, because I've learned curtains, a few things. Right? So now it's just a matter of if you really like them when you actually see them, because you also have this habit of going, oh, that's not what I thought that Well, because like. you're buying them online. So it's not yes, like I'm looking at them. I mean, yeah, I, I know. you know. But we, we've got the curtains. We'll do the cleaning. We got um, the the pieces. And then, you know, the kitchen will be refreshed mm-hmm. and my stress will be lowered going into the holidays because my the house will be set. Everything will, will be, be refreshed. Set. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're okay with that. Oh, absolutely. I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And that's two days ago. You weren't okay with that. With what? Refreshing anything. Painting. Painting is now. No, I wasn't talking about painting. I was talking about photographs and moving things around and where they're displayed. Well, on okay, walls. let's be let, well well you, we, I bought a new quilt for the bed. That almost caused a divorce. Well we do have well you know you do have to kind of move your pictures around because you know we we need more pictures of Jude and we need pictures of the kids with Jude and we need pictures of us and the kids with Jude. We don't you know we've got to have have new family pictures, right? New family. It's our new family. We've got to have new family pictures, right? And then um yeah, so that's, you know, that's a that's an easy way to change up the whole room, right? And if different pictures. Yeah. See, I pay attention. Well, accessories are always like a new accessories. lamp. Accessories. Accessories. What is it? The ability to accessorize is what separates us from the lower <laughs> animals. 
That's from Steel Magnolias. Very one of, good. One of your favorite movies. Yes, one of my favorite Wait, movies. Now that can be painful because accessories. Yes, because you always pick the big pieces first, right? So you get your furniture, you get your curtains, your paint, your you know, if you do that, not recommended. Your carpet, <laughs> you know, all that. Then you have to have the accessories. So that is like this whole um Etsy. Hobby Lobby, Michael's Wayfair, Wayfair extravagance mm -hmm. because sense, we have to have goods. accessories. Right. And I'm like, shoot me now. <laughs> I think because I've done accessories a is very just good another job. word for knickknacks, which as my mother would call them, are dust collectors. Your mother was one to speak because the woman was a collector of very small uh, things. Believe me, I know. We had and to I go had, through all of them <laughs> when we got ready to sell suckers. their house. Yes. Yes. I don't have, I do not have that problem. I might no. have a problem with too many icons. Although we're a Catholic home, so no, really can't you can't have, have too, many, too icons. many icons. You can have too many pumpkins. No, you cannot have too many pumpkins, my love. Nor can you have too many Christmas trees or holly bushes or Oh, let's talk about, let's talk about my wife's plans for Christmas. So my wife always plans this extravagance for Christmas. Now keep in mind so so Christmas is my favorite so I will holiday not give of the away year. Your 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 plan, which is not financed or funded. Yes. Just, just saying. Um, it so, always starts with the front porch. So right now right, in so, fall, I decided our theme this year was a pumpkin patch. And that came off very well. It did. Thank you very it, much. That, that came off and very well. And it has different sizes it of pumpkins, metal things. It required a significant amount of uh, manual labor, but it no, came it off didn't. very well. I had to pull up everything in the front. Because bed. our rose bushes were full of disease. And, and so I was, And we aren't replacing them right now because it's not the time to replace them. So... We had this empty front bed that looked like... Well, it's a blank canvas for correct. me to explore and play with colors. <laughs> yes, I know how this goes. You mocking me? No, not at all. So oh my, God. my honey lamb, of course, starts her Christmas decorating ideas... About in, July. About July. About yeah. the time that her friend Chrissy Lynn starts playing Christmas carols. Correct. Which is like the day after 4th of July. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's actually Nothing a wrong true with story. That. So she's like, we have these two pencil Christmas trees. No, we have one of them. We have to purchase yeah, the second I know. one. Her plan is we get two pencil Christmas trees. Right. And she's and like, I... okay, we'll put them on the front porch and then they'll be lit. And I'm like, honey, how are they going to be lit? Because we don't have not it. lit like, wow, that party was lit. <laughs> lit like powered. Because we live in a very old home and apparently in the 1960s, nobody plugged in anything outside. outside. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's no outside outlets. And we're not really, our son's not an electrician yet, so therefore we don't have anyone so to come and do I'm that I'm like, for so us. honey, how are we going to do this? She's like, oh, you just run them in through the window. I said, you mean the window that will be cracked open in the winter? Oh, well, you can do this and this and this. So my wife- who I have a plan. My wife, who flunked algebra, now has a PhD in decorating engineering. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And I'm offering classes online net right now, $2.99. Mm-hmm. That's two dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> so, like, class. like, what was the year? The year that Courtney passed away, two thousand and fourteen. Her goal was to put three hundred and fifty Christmas lights no, on the tree. You are incorrect. No, thirty five hundred, three thousand no, no, five hundred. Yes, there were, dear. No. Yes, there were. No. Yes, there Our were. Our house would have blown up. No, it was six different strands. Right. Of like three hundred. That's no, about eighteen hundred. There were no, no. It was five hundred strands. Flunk. Five hundred. Five hundred lights on each strand, sweetheart. We Six plugged them into 3, two different plugs in the living room. That's that's the point I was getting to. We had so many lights. Not only the Dulles tell it to turn it down because the jets kept trying to come and land on our house, but we had to split. <laughs> we had to split the strands up because we couldn't plug them all into one outlet Correct. because it started overheating. No, it didn't start overheating. We would have popped the breaker. Popped the breaker. <laughs> After the plane landed on the roof. So I said- That would be so cool. I've always wanted to get like a big Santa and a sleigh to put it on our pitched roof. Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. You know, they have these companies now that they do your Christmas lights. So like they'll come to your house and they'll hook it all up. And there are some people in our neighborhood that actually do that. And, and they have an outside generator. What? They have a generator. Like we should do that. We should totally do that. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, we'd, we'd show up in the news. They'd be like, there's this. Yeah, we probably would. <laughs> For, yeah, because we would have such awesome decorations. Mysterious F-35 <laughs> jet disappears again. <laughs> oh, no, it's right there. It's parked in our front yard. My wife threw a strand of Christmas <laughs> lights on it so you wouldn't recognize it. 
You would totally do that too. I totally would. <laughs> I put a little blow up year- Santa in the cockpit and go, isn't it pretty? <laughs> it's our lawn decoration. <laughs> F-35 with some Christmas lights and a Santa. Okay. But this year I really wanted to put Snoopy. I wanted to put a big blow up lighted thing with Snoopy and the Great Pumpkin. And again, my question was, <laughs> where are you going to plug it in? Oh, I just snake the light in through the window and do it. I like, had it all figured out. But he said no. No. <laughs> so you got a Snoopy Great Pumpkin coffee cup. I did because I had to have the right pumpkin. Wow. We have to watch that, the Great Pumpkin. Charlie so your Brown. question is, why did you just let me do whatever yes, I want? Yes, why not? It, this I am so fun. This would be such a fun home if you just let me do it. Of course, we'd be bankrupt, but <laughs> I was going to say, we that. are not Turtle Creek Lane. Turtle Creek Lane, for those of you that don't know, is one of my favorite follows on Instagram. Her name is Jennifer, and her husband is a big real estate dude in Dallas. And they're, they've, they're, they are Texas size. They their do everything decorating. Texas size. And so um, she does these over the top sort of home decor. You would do that. I totally would. But here's what she also does. Like this Saturday, if we lived in Dallas, we'd be, we would have had tickets to their, to walking through their, their little, um, Halloween holiday fair because like they do that and they welcome people into their home and then they donate the money to a local children's hospital or, um, you know, a shelter or something. So she does a lot of good with it, but needless to say her budget and mine are very different. She's on a, you know, Neiman Marcus Barney's budget budget. I'm on a, you know, Walmart. Hobby Lobby Big budget. lots <laughs> budget. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think that that there's a you know there's a there's a good amount of teamwork there. You know, I you compromise. I like a rug. I compromise. You don't compromise. Uh, you lecture me, and you tell me all the things we could do if I just didn't want to decorate the house. What you would do with those resources? I get that every season. Well, we could do this, Mary, but instead you would like to do this. Well, yeah, because I'm here. And I like my house being a nice, warm, big hug. And you like it being a nice, warm, big hug, too. I do, just on a budget. (laughs) It's on a budget, all right. But don't you like it? I do. I love our home. I mean, I just, just... Can we just talk about the fact that we actually have all of our books put away? I know. Jerry's so thrilled. Every single one of his history books is in uh, his office that I created uh, for him because the, he didn't believe the, me. The choir of angels started that, singing as I put the last one fit. on the shelf. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. They're all in one place. All of our religious uh, books are in the same place. All of our fiction books are in the same it's place. Glorious. And Jerry's big project this winter is he's going to alphabetize them. I have to categorize them. And we're going to make an online library so that I stop buying the same book and having to return it because I thought it'd be such a cool book, but I already read it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Middle age. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> My gosh, it looks so like a So what really recommendations good story. do you have since we're always, you know, what recommendations do you have for couples that are going through the negotiations? Well, I mean, first of all, okay, it's your home. It's got to work for you, right? It's there. I don't, I am not a big, I used to be, let me clarify this. I used to be a big kitchen gadget person earlier in our marriage. Cause I just, I loved kitchen gadgets. And I was, oh, we could do this. Oh, we could do that. I have really simplified over the years because I just realized it takes up space. It costs money and I don't need it. And I don't actually use it. So I've really simplified in that, still haven't gotten over my fabric addiction. That one is a work in progress. Can we talk about shoes or, or accessories of any kind. Yes, I'm still working on that. But, um, you know, things like that, you want your, you don't want it to be cluttered. You want, because when you look around, you know, it's kind of like um, a mindset thing. You want your home to be calm. You want it to be clean. You want it to be organized. You want to know where things are. Now, this, of course, assumes that you do not have small children of destruction well, running around, right? Because that's Even just- when we had small children of destruction with running, well, one of them, one of them was in a wheelchair, but- um, He more than made up for that. He did. He was an overachiever. Okay, but like you didn't have breakables like three feet from the ground, you know, um, you everything was we're soft. we're going to have to do that again soon. I know, because Jude's going to be walking soon. Well, my point is this. This is your home. Yes. You want it to be welcoming to you, your family, 
and your friends and those that God has asked you to be hospitable to. You want it to function for you. Right. You want it to be uh, easy to clean, easy to keep up with. You want it to be um, an expression of you and your spouse. I think we need much more civil war art. I'm not feeling expressed. <laughs> yeah. Lord help me. Yep. More civil war art. Excuse me. Um, so there has to be a budget. That's there the most be, important thing for domestic tranquility. And, and you know, we actually got a question yes. from um from our fans. We have three of them. And wow, one three, of them, <laughs> we've doubled them. Woohoo! <laughs> one of them asked, you know, how do you guys discuss a budget? We will talk about that on a future podcast after I have had much alcohol because we don't do that well, even to this day. That is a very and there are reasons for that. There's, but we can talk about that on a later podcast. But there needs to be a budget. Each one of your opinions needs to be respected. Now, one of you is probably going to like gadgets and like things, and the other one is probably not. Most of the couples we know, there's one who's a minimalist, who's a minimalist, and one who is a clutter monster. A cl- <laughs> and God. God help if both of you are. Both of you are, because you know, our you could be like my mom, my mom and my dad. My dad. Oh my word! Oh my word! My dad was the clutter monster, and my mother is a minimalist. So now that my father's (laughs) been gone for twenty one years, my mother's house, like I think, there's three things to dust. It took her fifteen years before she finally got rid of all of his papers and and stuff. Went through all of it. It's crazy years. But anyways, um, well, he was a lawyer too. He was a lawyer. Kept 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 everything. everything. Um. Okay, so there just there has to be an open conversation. It's like anything else in marriage. There's an open conversation, right? Yes. And we kibitz. We are kibitzers. We we kibitz. We 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 are sarcastic sometimes. We shouldn't be, but we are. And we <laughs> argue. But we negotiate passionately. <laughs> well, the orange bathroom being the example. Okay, but I I acquiesced on that, right? After I threatened to hold my breath until I turned blue. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I said there was no way. Okay. So here's the other thing. I am very visual. I am very artistic. I'm very, I love color. Oh, yes. Jerry is not. He has a hard time imagining things. So you have to lay it out for him in order for him to see your vision. And so that is one of the biggest things. It took me like 12, 15 years to know that about you. I just used to get so frustrated. And then I would just decorate things when you were gone which didn't turn out well. <laughs> it wasn't a good decision. Mm-hmm. I don't recommend. But now it's like like with the kitchen. I'm like, okay, so if we put this here and we do this here and can you see it now? And he's like, oh, I can see it. And then he'll sometimes, you know, actually suggest things. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. But that's just recently in the last, you know, five or six years where you've gotten in touch with your inner decorator. So before then you didn't No, That was a hard no. Okay. Your answer to everything was just put a piece of Civil War art there. Well, yeah, but I, I'm put up a painting the, of a. I'm more of the spatial of where do we fit more bookcases? <laughs> Very true. Right. I mean, Very let's true. let's let's be real. Right. That's the one thing that we did have to acquire. It's yes. It's like, oh, sorry, need need another book. Nope. We might need one bookcase, but we'll get two. Nope. We'll just end up with five, just to be sure. <laughs> Very right. true. Yeah. But um, anyway, so yeah. So I, I don't, what was the point of this podcast? Talking about. Right. Compromise within home decor. A compromise in home decor, which will lead into the budget discussion. And then we're we, uh, coming up. We're going to, uh, some people have asked about our convert, my, my conversion story. Um, so what that's, does that have to do with home decor? Nothing. I'm just giving everybody teaser trailers. Okay. <laughs> Like what's going on? Coming up on future episodes of the Jerry and Mary podcast. So we're going to talk about budgeting. Yes, there will be there will oh, be bourbon. Do we have to? There will be bourbon for that bad boy. We're mm, going to. Mm, some people mm. have asked about my conversion story. Mm-hmm. What else have they asked about? Oh, there's a list. We have a list. So oh, thank you. To, we appreciate your put suggestions. The spark back into your oh, marriage. Oh yes, you still got to do that. Yeah, yep, we're going to be doing that one. Yep. So thank you for suggestions because uh, what was it? Our our friends. Uh, Cecilia and Meg just did mm-hmm. like their 143rd podcast I know, or craziness. something. And I'm what like, the dang heck podcast? 104. I know. I don't know 143 things to talk about. <laughs> I mean, I really don't. You know 143 battles. 
I can people have asked at, people have asked us to talk about politics. They've asked us. No, to talk no, about I'm not sure that's history. a good idea. They've asked us to talk about porn and the effects on a marriage. They've asked us to talk about a lot of things. So we're just getting started. Okay, but mm-hmm. guess what we have now? I don't it's know. time for the not so newlywed game. The not so newlywed game. Now, I am answering this question as if okay. you are answering this question, so correct? So the categories. Getting to know you, our life together, diving deeper, something different. Okay, so here we go. Dun, dun, dun. No, no, this is answering for yourself. Oh, answering for myself. That's what makes it so much fun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, no, we're not going to answer that one. Yes, we are. Go okay. ahead. What is it? Well, I can't is see it. this actually very boring. I don't have my What's the most on? illegal thing you've gotten away with? Oh, my word. Um, Just make sure the statute of limitations is run out before you I had a I had a time in my life where I, I had sticky fingers. Oh, yes. You're talking about that in your book. I do. But there might have been a few incidences that I, quote unquote, got away with. But in reality, I didn't because you still, you never get away with it with God. So yeah. that's probably the most illegal thing I've ever done. Yeah, sorry, I got nothing. I know. You've never, like, <laughs> done anything bad. Okay, listen. I grew up in a very, 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 very small town in Oklahoma, right? Mm-hmm. Where everybody knew everybody. True. So you couldn't get away with squat. <laughs> Plus, my mother was the school nurse. So That's everybody true. in town- No, the most illegal thing you ever did was you skipped a day of school your senior year. Okay, we did do that. One day. He skipped one day. I skipped an entire week of the second (laughs) half of my day to watch um, to watch Bo and Hope get married on Days of Our Lives. Oh jeez. And then there was the Laura. Laura got married on General Hospital. Anyway. Like those things take two or three days. So you had to figure out how you could get out of biology or anatomy or math or whatever and like sneak back in for class that came after that. Never mind. I don't, I just, I can't. (laughs) Jerry doesn't do anything illegal. Just marry. Okay. Next question. Oh, this is a good one. Oh. Have you ever met your idol or someone you revere greatly? Who? Have I ever met my, I don't really have, my idols are like saints. Hmm. Um, I don't really have one. I mean, I've met some really great people in the Catholic world. Uh, I've met some really, I mean, I, I I've met I Nora Roberts, who was a, who was a, yeah, you I know, New York Times bestselling author. I've met several New York Times bestselling authors because yeah. um, I was involved with the writing organization for 10 years. I've, um, I don't think I've ever done that. I've, who is your idol? I don't really, I mean, I'd like to meet Jesus because <laughs> that means he's, well, I mean, I'd like to meet him and like stay with him for eternity, yeah. not be turned around and walk downstairs where it's really hot. I'd like to stay in the air conditioning, please. <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> but who's your idol? Do you have an idol? Um, I, I, uh, no. Thomas Sowell. I think if you ever met Thomas Sowell, you would just sit, stand there and stare that at him. That would be and, kind of fun. And, and, yeah, or um, Victor Davis Hansen. That would be fun. Or Brad Thor. Or, yeah, that'd be fun too. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. What's the next one? Oh, diving deeper. Let's do a diving deeper question. Oh, why do we got to dive so deep, Jerry? I think I've asked that one before. Shoot. Get a new one. Oh, my goodness. Aha. Here's oh, a good one. Okay. This is our last question for this podcast. What are you most grateful for right now? You. Okay. That's. No, I'm serious. I was thinking about this the other day because I knew, you know, you had said, let's talk about conflict within home decor and, you know, just why, why do we kibitz with each, with each other? And I think we kibitz with each other because we care. I, I so want to please you and I so want to have you look at me and say, I love you. I'm proud of you. Uh, you, this is, looks beautiful. It tastes great. Whatever it is, um, that like, that's like my number one goal in life. I mean, please Jesus first, and then to please you and make you happy. And so I am most grateful for you, um, and I'm most grateful for the life that we have created together um, that God has allowed us to have, Mm -hmm. Um, even with all the really bad, horrible things that we used to say and to one another and how we used to treat each other in the most intimate parts of our marriage. I mean, the Lord has done such amazing things. 
Um, he's really healed and he's restored and he's redeemed us time and time and time again. And I, I cannot imagine a day in my life without you. And I don't want to imagine a day in my life without you. So I am most grateful for you, my love. Wow. So, Thanks, baby. <clears throat> what are you most grateful for, Jerber? Well, I was going to say a really good bottle of bourbon, but I can't say that now because I'd sound very trite. I mean, I'm grateful for you, but I, I was actually going to say no. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm grateful right now that we're both mostly healthy because I ran into one of my classmates the other day in the Wegmans. Like, oh, one of your naval It's like sitting by the Tiber, right? Somebody says, if you sit by the Tiber long enough, the bodies of all your enemies will float by. That's a little bit of Roman history because, yes, I was thinking about the Roman Empire. Just saying... <laughs> Um, but I ran into one of my old classmates at the Wegmans because apparently you meet everybody yeah. at the Wegmans. And I said, Hey, how are you doing? He's like, well, I just finished, uh, you know, chemotherapy. Th chemotherapy for kidney cancer. And I'm like, Oh, wow. So you got some hot dogs there in your cart. I'm like, <laughs> wow, that's not super awkward, but I'm like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm like, um, I'm, I'm very grateful, like you said, that we have this time together, that we're in pretty good health, that we've made it through all the shazazzle that we've been through. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for you and, and for the, hopefully the opportunity to have many, many more years together. Please, Lord Jesus. So that we can put up pumpkins. Every September. Every September. For the rest of your life. I know. With me. Yes. Because I'm your number one pumpkin. You're my great pumpkin. <gasps> Are you insinuating that I'm a large woman? I would never insinuate then that. Then why did you call me great pumpkin? Because you're my great pumpkin. You arise on Halloween and give treats to everyone. <laughs> and I love <laughs> treats. Oh my gosh. I never know. Where, I don't know why. I, I, I just never know where you're going to go. And then you just go there. And it's I like, do. shoot. How We're do totally I get out of this? Totally unscripted. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, and my friends that, uh, who are watching and listening to this podcast, we are grateful for you. We're grateful that you spent the last 40 minutes with us <laughs> and oh. that you, um, you know, that you show up every week and you leave uh, great comments and uh, you ask us questions and um, you just support us here. Uh, you know, we, we've been asked for a long time to do this and now we're actually doing it and we're having a little fun with it. So we just appreciate you being here. So and keep those calls and <laughs> texts go. coming folks. You can reach us at 571-354-0351. That's 571-354-0351. <laughs> and if you order before midnight tonight, stop, <laughs> you get the extra CD for free. <laughs> that's right. You get the greatest hits. <laughs> a, anyways. Um, what would our greatest hits album be? That'd be oh, pretty that, cool. that We should do that. We should do a Great. podcast on that. Our greatest, greatest hits. hits. Mm. Our life and music. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Mm. Anyways, thank like you all. It's like our soundtrack. What would the soundtrack, soundtrack be of our, our life be? Life. Thank you for being here. We yep. look forward to seeing you next week on the Mary and Jerry podcast. podcast. God bless. <laughs>